In this video, we're going to cover creating a new project from a set of blueprints uh, in PDF format. I'm going to start by clicking the New Job icon from the Home tab. Here we have our New Job dialog. We can enter a job or quote number, a description for the job, some general notes about the job, uh, the location that the job is going to be stored, uh, as well as setting the default uh, measurement type. So let me create a job number. I think I'll just use uh, the date uh, for my job number. Little description. Um, I'm just using the default setup so it's going to store locally on my computer because I haven't specified anywhere else. Here's actually the path of that job storage. I'm going to click Next. Um, the program defaults to your desktop. Um, I've created a folder on my desktop uh, called Import Jobs. I can expand that folder and I have a list of PDF files. Um, and the way this tree works, if I were to click the parent, it's going to natively select all the children of that folder. But I am after one specific folder, or one specific PDF. Uh, and this is a multi-page PDF. I'll select Next. I have my conversion settings, um, depending on the uh, your specific computer. Uh, if you choose to leave them in PDF format, you can. Uh, I like to convert my files. So I'm going to set my default conversion um, to 300 dpi uh, and grayscale 16 shades. Um, and as a, if you have a little bit um, slower system or something that's a little bit lighter on your resources, uh, you may want to select the downsize the uh, TIFF files after um, they get converted. I choose to turn that off on my system here. I'll select Next. It's ready to create our job. Let's click Finish. And you can see it's proceeding through the uh, uh, processing of the PDF files and converting them into TIFF images. Depending on how that original PDF file was created um, and what you set your resolution settings to, that is what's really going to ultimately determine how long the conversion takes. You can see I have a total of 29 pages and I'm at about 12 pages complete. So we'll just let that run for a moment. Conversion is completed, now it's just finalizing the import and the job has loaded and you'll see it automatically pulled in the file structure since I was in the import jobs folder that's the folder it created inside of PlanSwift if I expand that now you'll see I have all these files and they've all been named what the original file was called was called revised drawings and then the page number so we're going to need to edit that. But that's essentially creating the job. Once you get your job created, you might want to organize it a little bit before you actually get started on your takeoff. So it looks like the well, first thing I'm going to need to do is rotate all of these pages 90 degrees to the right. So we're going to go up to our page tab and we're going to select batch rotate. I'm going to start with the first page and I'm going to just rotate those to the right and I'll start that process. And it's going to systematically go through and rotate all of these pages. And we're just about done and again the time that it takes to rotate those pages really is going to depend uh, solely on the available resources to your computer. Looks like all my pages have rotated just fine. 
Um, the next thing I'm going to want to do is rename some of these pages. Obviously I don't want to refer to them as revised drawing 1, revised drawing 2, etc. So if I go up to my batch rename pages, um, you'll see that with this lower right hand button is uh, checked or been pressed. That's the default setting. It's automatically defaulting to that lower right hand corner of the uh, plan image, uh, which happens to be where my page name is located. So with that, I can go through and rename my pages. So A2.1 and I'll just hit save and next and it'll go to the next page. A3.1 Okay, now all my pages have been renamed, so let's do a little organization. Select my properties and rename that first folder to be uh, maybe I'll name that my architecturals. I think I'll add a second folder called um, Mechanical Electrical Plumbing, or MB MEP for short. And I'll grab all of my electrical, HVAC, and plumbing drawings, and put those in the MEP folder. And I'll move that to the bottom of the list here. Looks like I need my structural folder. New folder. Structurals. And I'll select the remainder of my drawings. Place those inside of structurals. So after a little bit of cleanup, I now have three folders to separate my drawings. Give me a little better organization. So you can see spending just a few minutes up front organizing your job can really speed up uh, the amount of time that it takes you to do your takeoff.